this is Chicho. Um, welcome to my channel. Now, what I want to do is uh, read you a post that I made on my site, which was basically um, a reply that I had made uh, to a post post on a forum back in 2009. And um, basically, uh, uh, the, the intro to it is basically I, I got up in the morning and I usually in the mornings I check my news sources and do a little surfing and I came across uh, this request this post on a forum and I go to forums a lot I've been I've been online since the beginning of the 1990s I guess and um, I, I use forums a lot to communicate with people because most forums are not censored and it's the best way to you know share information and to get information to ask questions to do research right so i came across this post on a forum and um, the post was basically uh, someone had lost a family member and they were looking for advice um, they were sort of reaching out because they're sort of lost and they didn't know what to do um, and for me i've gone through that experience before so I wasn't really planning on getting into something heavy like this when I got up that morning uh, but the person was reaching out so I decided to reply to reply to their thread and uh, my reply was well received so I took my reply and I posted it on my website back in 2009 as well and um, I thought I you know do the next level on on this and share this information through through video through youtube um because i sort of consider um you know there's some censorship going on but i sort of consider uh this channel to be an open forum for myself i don't i don't really censor things um comments and i try to reply to a lot of comments and um, or s most comments anyway some comments I don't reply to and the only thing I really censor from my channel is anything related to spam um, so it is an open open forum as far as I'm concerned so I thought it was worthwhile circulating this information as well um, just in case you're looking for such advice okay and if you rather uh, read what I have written I'll provide the link to the post uh, or to the post on the new site anyway uh, so I'll provide a link uh, to this post that I made on my site and you can just read the information sort of point form and again this was you know stir stir the moment or I didn't really I just wrote down what came to my mind and there is a lot more to this um, but uh, this is sort of just the preliminary stuff so if, if you're if you've been hit with this kind of event um, maybe this will help you out or if you know someone that has is going through uh, an experience like this um, maybe it will help you out as well um, so basically um, the post is sort of the first paragraph is sort of me explaining that uh, you know I hadn't planned on making this post so what I want to do is uh, read you what the person had posted on the thread uh, the question that they were asking or the advice that they were looking for and then I'm going to read you what I posted and then after we're done this uh, I'm just gonna just some afterthoughts uh, just a couple of more points uh, emphasizing if, uh, I'm not sure if I'll follow this up um, but if it's required if it's needed uh, I may consider it uh, or I will uh, if it's needed because that's my you know uh, it is what it is right if 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 the advice if help is needed uh, I will try my best to um, comment or reply or follow up on this uh, on this video or on this post okay um, so the person posted the following uh, started the following thread okay 
quotes. My parents just lost their son of 27 years. I am now an only child. Will it ever get easier for them? Or will this bear on their soul until the eventual day where they where I must say goodbye? I guess I'm not exactly sure what I'm what I'm asking for. Stories, anecdotes, puns, and assholes maybe. I want to be there for my mom and dad, but I'm not but I'm unsure of what may may even help. What in the world can help someone overcome the grief of having lost a child? My life has changed from this moment on. Everything I hope to do from now on is to try and bring my parents the happiness of two sons. End quote. The following is my reply, and I sort of made it into 20 points. Uh, and I mentioned the opening sentence uh, that here's my two cents, and please forgive me for not sugarcoating my reply. Uh, point number one. Um, Just that, just so that you know where my reply is coming from. I have buried two brothers. One was 26 years old and the other 28. First one we lost when I was in my early 20s and the second one I was in my mid 30s. Both of them were completely different experiences. Both of them were devastating. Number two. The following is the biggest mistake you can make. Everything I hope to do from now on is to try and bring my parents the happiness of two sons. If you try and do this, you will make everyone miserable. And number three, your feelings, emotions will change with time. So embrace each stage completely. Do not try and do not try to run away from your responsibilities to your family, but make sure that you know you also you also show your loved ones that you also share their pain. The worst thing you can do is to allow people to think that they are the only ones that hurt. That being said, no one will feel more pain than your parents, not even you. Number four, one thing I used to say to people when they asked me what it was like to lose a family member was that it's an experience you would, you would want your closest friends to know, but you would not wish upon your worst enemies. And I really meant this. I have learned to appreciate every moment of life, which is something I rarely see in others. It took me a long time to, to get to this state, but it is there when you're ready for it. Number five, life will always taste a little bitter from now on, and that's not a bad thing. It's just another flavor, a flavor which can make you appreciate all the beauty of life. Number six. Understand how you feel. <clears throat> no one will understand how you feel. Your relationship with your brother and with your family is unique. So don't expect people to have answers for you. <clears throat> Number seven. 
Number seven. Deal with what has happened to the best of your abilities and learn from your mistakes. Don't expect to be good, right, perfect, etc. all the time. Just do the best. Just do the best you can with what you know. Later, you may wish you did something differently, but always remember that you did the best with what you knew at the time. Number eight, let loose when you need to, with friends or with strangers, but don't wallow in your misery for too long, just long enough to be exhausted. Then begin to build your life again, build up your life again. Number nine, the best way to remember and live your life as if you have not lost a loved one is to take what they loved and incorporate it into your life. This is super important. If you love to read, begin to read. If they love to read, begin to read. If they love sports, start playing sports. If they loved a certain type of music, start listening to it. Basically begin to incorporate the best of who they were into who you are. Forget about what you disliked about them. Number 10. Don't forget to cry with joy. There will come a time when you will yearn for the times that you could shed tears for them for hours. Hold on to that feeling and figure out how to tap into it. It will, be, it will bring you joy in the future. Number 11. Let your parents be as miserable as they want to be or pretend that everything is okay. Number 12. Your parents and you will most likely begin to, be, begin to become partially self-destructive. It's okay to do this. Just make sure you do not let it destroy you or your parents. Number 13, family, many families split up after there is a death in the family. If your parents want a divorce, support them, help them to transition into their new life. Remember, divorce does not mean the end of family. Number 14, as you should be aware by now, nothing material matters except for those little trinkets that remind you of your brother. Make sure they become a part of you. Number 15. You will build amazing friendships over the next few years and lose some close friends. This is a good thing. Number 16. Do not live your life for anyone else other than yourself. This will make your parents happy and will hopefully provide them a good example to follow. Of course, they may be doing the same thing for you. This being said, there is nothing more important than family, so make sure you are there for them when you are needed. Number 17. It will, take a it will take a while, years, until you fully digest what has happened. Savor those years. Number 18. As far as I see things, there is no such thing as death. Number 19. I read some of the comments and I think you are on the right I think you are doing the right thing. Keep your shit together and make sure everything is taken care of for the next few weeks. It's important that your parents do not have to worry about the technicalities. So make sure all phone calls are made and all the paperwork is done. You'll have plenty of time to mourn and reflect. Years. Number 20. Try to refrain from making, any, from making too many permanent decisions for a while. Those were my 20 points 
uh, that came to my mind at that moment uh, when I was posting the reply to this uh, comment to this thread um, and someone added there were some comments uh, replies made to my comment and some personal messages I got uh, thanking me for writing this out um, but one of the comments uh, made um, I thought it was uh, worthy um, and that I should have pointed out but you know this was sort of a stir of the moment right um, and the addition that I made to my post uh, which I thought was a good recommendation was the following uh, quoting someone else now the only thing I can add to your advice is to get help therapy grief group some sort of support that is your that is not your immediate family so the advice i would add is to is to talk with someone who knows or can understand your pain without personally knowing your loved one it gives you a freedom to let your pain out so you can heal even a group grief session once or twice can help and that's sound advice um just as an afterthought, uh, the two, you know, each each of the points here sort of came from the heart, uh, and what I could remember uh, at the time. There's more to this, of course, uh, that I didn't have time to share. Some of the things that I did that helped me out. Uh, but the two really important aspects that I can really, you know, highlight from this, there's, there's more than two, but uh, two of them would be the last point I made, which is really important, which is don't, when you're under stress, uh, don't make any permanent decisions, okay? or don't make any decisions that are gonna have repercussions for the rest of your life. So tread lightly, tread softly. Uh, think about what you're doing uh, because you don't wanna make any silly mistakes, silly decisions when you're under a lot of stress that you may regret later on, okay? when you have time to think and digest that what has happened and for me one of the things that i did which really helped me out was uh, the ninth point i had here which is take uh, what you loved about them whoever it is that you might have lost and incorporate what they loved into your life. Really. Okay. I hope you found this useful. I'll see you guys in the next video.